We have a, ro a robotic DC motor controller, BLDC motor controller. Um, and I just want to go over the circuit so that you can see how it's connected. Basically, the output of the robotic controller goes to that particular uh, terminal block, then comes back in and ends up at this relay, with, uh, which is a three-pole relay. Um, and then feeds through these circuit breakers to another turbo block and then eventually to the motor that it's controlling. And you can see here uh, we have a Honda two-cylinder engine that is driving a BLDC 10 horsepower um, motor which we use both in, in motor drive to start the Honda engine but we also allow the Honda engine to drive the motor as a generator to produce power. So, um, going back to the circuit board, we have another uh, safety circuit here, which senses the amount of voltage that's coming through this rectifier. So you see here the output of the BLDC in generator mode is, is feeding this rectifier. We get DC voltage on the output side. That DC voltage is sensed by this voltage uh, sensor. And when this voltage sensor uh, sees voltage of, of greater than 60 volts, then this circuit of relays activates in such a way that it, it allows this relay to open. So when the robotic controller is in start mode, that is to say it is driving the motor, this relay is closed. But as soon as, as, soon as the engine attempts to start and turn the process into one of generation, the voltage then goes up on this rectifier this circuit senses the over voltage and disconnects this relay. Now, the question we have, uh, we, we will attempt to start the motor in, a, in, a, in another few seconds. And the question we have is, why are we getting what appears to be intermittent braking on the engine? So the only way we can actually start the motor, uh, start the engine, is to disconnect this relay manually because it appears that the, robo the, ro the robotic controller is, is either braking or stalling or holding back the, the Honda engine. And we will, just wanted to show you that behavior so that you could help us understand it. Okay, so uh, Chris, I think. Uh, okay, I will initiate a gas switch. Ignition, BLDC relay, and let's run the motor. Let me know when you want to release the relay. Yeah. So I think you can see that uh, in the early part of the operation, the motor was essentially prevented from speeding up. And then as soon as Chris released or opened this relay, therefore disconnecting the controller, the motor then was able to run freely and, and go up to its normal idle speed. So we'll, uh, just to show you again. We'll attempt to start it, that is we're going to drive the BLDC motor. Then we'll turn the ignition on to the engine. The engine will attempt to start and run autonomously. The, the BLDC motor, will. it looks like the BLDC motor will prevent that from going to full RPM. At that point, Chris will disconnect the relay and you'll see what happens to the engine. And that is, that its speed will go to its normal operating speed. Go. Ignition, BLDC relay, and 
around the border. <laughs> I will open the video.